So in this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how to use direction lock on your Insta360 camera. Uh, I've got an Insta360 X4 here, but this tutorial will work on any Insta360 360 camera you've got. So direction lock is a, an editing tool that you can use depending on what you're shooting to enhance your videos. And direction lock essentially, when it's turned on, Insta360 software will try and follow the direction of where you're pointing your lens. So we'll jump over to my computer now and I'll show you exactly how Direction Lock works and how you can use it to enhance your 360 videos. All right, so I'm in Insta360 Studio now. I've loaded up a video, I've put a keyframe on my timeline and I've set the parameters that I would usually have for this video. And Direction Lock is located up here on the right underneath our stabilization type tool here. And you can see here, we have an option to turn it on or off. Now, if I just play this video without, without direction lock on, watch what happens. It's not gonna play fast because it's actually reading off an SD card, but you'll see the direction is point. It basically points the wrong way. So when you turn direction lock off, you have to add keyframes throughout your videos. And sometimes this is what you wanna do, but sometimes maybe you don't wanna do that. Maybe you want like a hassle-free edit. So, I'll show you now, play through this and you'll see how it's tracking where I'm going. Sorry about the speed of the playback. Now, if I remove these keyframes, go back to the start. And first of all, before you turn, or you want to turn direction lock on, and then you want to point the camera where you want the frame to, the first frame to, to be positioned. And then if we click play now, you'll see the camera will act a little bit differently. And it's trying to follow more closely where my camera lens is facing. Which is much better and much more natural. Now you'll notice that I have my chin in here, which I'm not so keen on. So what you can do is, once we're moving, you can move through it and make little adjustments and add keyframes. And what I've found is, when you've got direction lock on and you add a couple of keyframes for like a little bit more creativity or like you know a little bit of fine tweaking like getting rid of the chin here like that. and that one there add one here point right a bit the camera still moves naturally between keyframes it doesn't transition on a linear path between keyframes it actually still uses this direction lock between the keyframes which is pretty cool so i'll just play it back now and you'll see what i mean you see that it's much better much smoother than, than just using direction lock without keyframes and obviously when i export this video it will be completely smooth which is another important point to add actually. When you click import, export, make sure you select the correct bit rate you want. In fact, you can actually just click start import once you've got all this done. Or another way you can do this is if you've got more than one file to export with direction lock on, you can actually highlight them, double tap on your Mac, click start export, and then you can actually make sure you apply direction lock here to because then it will apply direction lock to all the clips that you want direction lock applied to that's um that's key and then obviously bit rate depending on where you're going to be using the footage will be determined here and then your encoding format and then start export 